So my point of pointing out all these things is that um, whether you like it or not, you're much better off with your own history. Please get the information to educate you on your history, and then it will give you the answer that uh, Ms. Nantege said that I find very interesting, and I think very people, very few people, um, you know, picked up on it. Is saying the reality of it is, it is here. Ebola is here. The GMOs are here. What are you doing to make a difference? And I'm saying to you, arm yourself with information. And then we will give you an easy pathway to find out what you should do about it. Thank you. So the, the problem is not only us. We are controlled. Let me go back to Western media. Wait a minute. The media that gives you this information. Who owns that media? Who owns Al Jazeera? Who owns BBC? Who owns CNN? Who owns them? The same guys. For that matter, I will ask this question. If Ebola is a biological weapon for the Americans and whatever, they have no question about that. The reason they are responding militarily is biological weapon. What is our country and our leaders doing in the response if Ebola is a biological weapon? The only one medical center that has been put at the border. When you go at the border, there's a military battalion, there's customs union checking money, I don't see a hospital. I don't see ways of treating sickness there. So, the Africans and the African leaders, they go to World Summit. To do what? What do we get from there? We get nothing. So the problem is not us here. Until, I, I want to say, I have hope because we have, we have survived so many biological, ebolonic kind of things. We have the capacity to